But limitations set by others give you boundaries to bust through. As a young woman trying to break into a film in Hong Kong, I was confronted with limitations at every turn. Initially cast in stereotypical roles, the demure, docile, damsel in distress, I soon realized that what I wanted to play were the action roles, the heroes. Of course, these were then reserved exclusively for men. But I could see that their fight sequences were highly choreographed, and I knew in my bones that my dance training would allow me to excel at them if only I were given the chance. So I went to my producer and said, I did say, please, I want an action role. I was prepared to do everything the men were doing, the choreography, the stunts, taking the blows, the wire work, all of it. What? Like it's hard? But when the chance finally came, I knew it was make or break. I had that one shot to prove my bankability as an action star, and if I failed, I would not get that opportunity again. So I seized the moment with everything I had, and as it turned out, thankfully, audiences were more than ready for a female star in action comedies. The film Yes, Madam was well received and launched my career. I knew I had it made it then when I soon after I joined Jet Li and Jackie Chan as the three people who Hong Kong insurers refused to cover. <laughs> they took one look at the scenes we were shooting and ran for the hills. I wore that as a badge of honor. Eventually, things progressed, and before I knew it, I was regularly running on rooftops, riding motorcycles onto moving trains, and rolling off vans onto oncoming traffic. Don't try that at home, okay? There were injuries, as you can imagine, but with every nick and scratch and bruise and fractured vertebrae, I came back better and braver. Learning how to fall teaches you how to land, and learning to land gives you the courage to jump higher. So when the James Bond producers knocked on my door about a film called Tomorrow Never Dies, I thought, yes, they want me to play James Bond. <laughs> I was fortunate that the producers Barbara Broccoli and Michael G. Wilson had a substantial role in mine in the character of Wei Lin, a formidable agent who was always one step of her adversaries and equal to Bond. Many regard that character as instrumental in modernizing the franchise and its retrograde portrayals of women. So thank you, Barbara and Michael. Although Bond offers came in after the Bond movie, I waited two years for the proper role, rejecting scripts that lacked nuance or depth in their character. Honestly, there were times I had doubts as to whether I was doing the right thing in waiting. After all, actors want to act. However, I knew I would not be happy unless I continued to seek out roles that allowed me and like-minded creatives to dig deeper and reflect three-dimensional humanity on stage. And that was Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. So I must have done something right because I am busier than ever. These examples illustrate the importance of limitations because our limitations become our challenges and there is nothing like a challenge to keep you working, striving, and pushing for more. Every demeaning role I was offered, every rejection I was handed, and every time someone underestimated me, I found energy and renewed motivation. This brings me to the third and final tip. Find your people. Life is not always a zero-sum game. For every winner, there doesn't have to be a loser. In fact, most success stories are less about competition and more about collaboration. The truth is, I could not have done any of this alone. 